All right, guys. Anthony's going to rip the floor out of this. It's all rotten at the back. Just tread on that back bit there, mate. Show them how rotten it is. Just, ah, uh, just there. Try that. Yeah, it's all gone. Try the other side. It's real bad. Well, see? She's buggered. Anyway, we've got to pull the floor out anyway. We've got to rip the fuel tank out also. All right. Nancy, pull all that out. <clears throat> Pull it out like you do with the other floor in the other boat. The grass under here. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, you lift the back, pull the back out, and then slide it back a fraction. That's it. Shut it out. Now. Yeah. Probably found. Okay. Pass it, it over. Slide it down to you. Uh, just over the back. Yeah, hang on. Put that up there. Lift it. Come this way with it. That's how. Oh, it's not white. That's how a mouse or something living in it. It's not white. No. You ready? Pick it up. Yeah, but you can hear it. When you get it down here, I'll. I'm trying not to scratch it. Not white. <laughs> they make us old blokes tough, Anthony. Yeah. Alright. Same again. Pass it out. Then. Just watch that sender on the fuel tank, mate. You know? Yeah. Just grab your end. Yeah, I'm trying not to step on the foam. Oh, it's not going to matter. I'm not going to swash it. Too easy. Are taking the fuel tank out now or? Yeah. Might as well. I'm going to need a screw. I'm going to need a. I'm going to need a. I'll do this. These. Yeah. Just a straight blade. Well, that, that'll undo it, won't it? Or do you want the socket set? Will that go in there? Yep, that's it. You tread on it. I'm sorry. Right, those two are the breathers. Sorry, the, the top ones. Breathe both sides. There's a fuel line pickup. You're gonna have fun getting that off, mate. We're gonna have to lift the tank and slide it. Tank. I think those brackets are welded. Before you go doing anything, just do me a favour. Yeah. Just lift the tank. Come over here and lift the tank and see if the tank, see if these brackets are part of the tank, like they're actually welded on it. I'm not sure whether they are or not. Because you're going to have to drill. We'll have to drill all this out. This tank's got to get too last. Just try and lift. That's solid. See? That's how the tank should be fitted. That other boat, the tank's floating. So how do we get... So what are we going to do? T take the rivets out. They'll be 316, I'd say. You'd have to unrivet. it. Um, yeah, here are the three. Try this one. Try that one. I'm gonna have to. Okay. Don't break the 
Probably, probably going to end up having to replace them back. I'll try and lift it and see. Just yeah, just just lift it over there for a sec and just feel what it's like. Yeah, okay. Is there much fuel in it? Does it feel heavy or light? Oh, I can't lift it okay, yeah, because the, your hoses are getting caught. Okay. I'll give you a pair of side cuts. Smaller screwdrivers to get that hose loosened up. Um, not too sure. You might have to pull up, like pull the hose that way and that way a bit. That's it. Well, you got it twisted. Okay, you'll wiggle it back. What you're probably going to have to do, yeah, you, you've broken the seal. Now you're going to have to lift the tank out that way, right? So lift the tank up on that side, way above that. Right, show you. this tank here. This end has to come up. That's all sealed that in. Grab it, grab it around that, grab it around the throat. Yeah, that, yeah. Here, I'm not real worried about the boat, I'm more worried about the fuel. Right? Spurting out once we tip it. Yeah. Oh, I've got a towel here, one sec. Like that? It's gonna be you you're gonna be in the problem one on the spot. Because when we go up, we're gonna No 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 no, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get it up on here with me with it up like that, right? And you'll come around, come out here right, and grab the tank. Yeah. It's not that much in us. Alright guys, just brought the boat back in, we've cleaned all the inside out, pulled all the insulation, oh it's not insulation, the actual foam out for the buoyancy in the boat. Um, we've pressure cleaned all the bottom, got rid of all the, the old dirt and mud and everything that was in here. We've, we did sit a battery in it over there and fired it up a little earlier on, but now we're going to get the uh, fuel tank, start fitting everything back up, put all the uh, flotation back in, um, fit the fuel tank, then we're going to cut all the new floors out and go from there. Okay, thanks. <laughs>